today's video is gonna be a quick little get ready with me for Valentine's Day. I did a different look on my Instagram stories a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, depending on when I'm uploading this, but I wanted to do another look for you guys just to, I don't know, I just, I haven't done a Valentine's Day themed video on my channel in a while. Uh, I can't even remember what I did last time I uploaded a Valentine's Day video. So um, I thought I'd come back with a little chit chat, get ready with me. It's not Valentine's Day, but I thought I would just try out a look and I bought a lot of new drugstore makeup products. So I'm gonna try to use majority drugstore in this video, but I do have a separate video plan for like a school makeup kind of look that you guys have been requesting. So stay tuned for that. I have a lot of makeup videos coming. Um, I love filming them and you guys seem to really like them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in this time. My name is Lisa, if you don't know, welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I post makeup videos, hauls, lifestyle, all that type of stuff. So if you like me, um, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like. And also follow me on all my other socials um, to keep up on when I upload, because sometimes YouTube is a little whack on their subscription uh, stuff. So yeah, be sure to follow me on all my other socials to keep up on what I'm doing, behind the scenes, and things like that. So let's just get into the video. I just spit. So I'm going to begin with primer. This is the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist um, that I'm going to be trying. Um, I already have moisturizer on, but I guess I'll just do this for primer today to see how it works. I haven't used a mist for primer in so long. I prefer a finer mist. I'm not sure how this is going to prime because I usually like a tacky primer. It doesn't really have a scent, um, but yeah, this little e.l.f. Primer. I was trying to find that new e.l.f. Um, primer that's like my Tatcha one, um, but I don't know if it's in stores because I couldn't find it. But I'll be using my Tatcha Silk Canvas um, because I love how silky smooth it makes my skin. So I know this is not drugstore at all, but I think there is a pretty good dupe out there. I've watched reviews and I really want to try the e.l.f. one just so I can have my um, alternative. So let's just use this because there's a... There's a dupe out there. I will link it down below for you guys to check out as well. I might place an order on it if it's not sold out still, so. And while the primer sits, I'll be doing my eyebrows and I'm actually going back to an old um, fave. This is the gel and powder eyebrow kit from e.l.f. that I've used before in the past. Um, I used to love this stuff. I used it all the time up until when I like ran out of it completely. So I haven't repurchased since because I love trying out new brow products, but I thought I'd go back to this little thing that I know about. Um, I, haven't I haven't tried a lot of drugstore in a while. I just have my solid favorites and staples and I only repurchased those. So um, it's just one of them. And I'm, I can't remember how, uh, how well it did for my eyebrows because I, I wasn't like a brow person back then, but I remember just using this because it just made my eyebrows look very natural because I wasn't very good at my eyebrows and I made it look scary sometimes. So for my eyebrows, I will zoom you guys in. So for my eyebrows, I usually just like to brush the brow hairs up. So I'm just gonna use that spoolie part of this brush. And then I'm just gonna go in with the gel that's in here. This, the dark part in this um, is the gel, this little dark section and just pack it on the ends of my eyebrows. Yeah, cause it's like a waxy um, texture. I know my camera's focusing on my hand, so I apologize, but I'm just putting it on the end right here. I'm gonna try not to make my camera focus on my hand. <laughs> kind of just like a tinted um, brow wax, um, basically. So I just like to do it on the ends and then I blend it all to the front of my brows. And then I'm just gonna blend it to the front. And then I did repurchase one of my favorite drugstore brow pencils. This is the NYX Micro Brow in Ash Brown. So I like to just extend the tail on my eyebrow. And then a little bit just around the front of my eyebrow. And then of course I take this bully on the brush and just blend out anything that looks a little harsh. 
And then I'm just gonna see how this works. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Um, it's tinted, so I don't know if this is gonna do well for my eyebrows right now because I kind of just want a clear one, but I don't have a drugstore clear one on me at the moment. I have my Sephora one, but I think I wanna try this because this has little fibers in it that will like make your eyebrows thicker, I think. So I'm just gonna see how this works. Okay. So I'm just going to do this very lightly on both eyes, kind of just fluff up the front of my eyebrows. This feels good so far, quite I'm quite pleased with the eyebrow products I tried today. All right, now moving on to the face makeup. I'm going to try a new foundation, um, I think. Hmm. I think I don't know. I don't know if I want to use a new foundation. So I'm gonna save the new drugstore foundation I want to use for another video. Um, so today I'm just gonna stick with um, a staple that I love that I know that I would wear for Valentine's Day. Definitely can recommend this. Um, if you guys are looking for a really, really good um, foundation um, and you don't mind spending the extra money on your face products, this is one of my favorite high-end um, foundations at the moment. I love this Lancome Taunt Idol. Ultra Wear Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Buff W230. I quite like my natural skin look these days, so I just go in um, really light with my fingers, just dot it all over my face, and then I blend out with a sponge. And today I'm using my huge um, Real Techniques face and body brush. Um, I mean, not body brush, but my face and body sponge. It's like a humongous version of the normal sponge, and it's also kind of gimmicky, which... <laughs> I don't know. It's just really cool that it's so big. So I have to use it sometimes to like have fun applying my makeup. And then I take any extra product on the back of my hand and I just apply it um, like kind of under my eyes and anywhere I missed because um, I don't like the cakey look at all. As of concealer, this was a huge hit in my DMs for some drugstore faves. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, High Coverage Concealer. I got the shade um, Porcelain because I'm going to use this for under my eyes. Um, so let's just see how this works. It has a little squeezy tube brush at the top. Oh, that's a lot. I like the color though, it's very bright. And I think the pink undertone is okay since I'm using it under my eyes. And it feels nice, it feels like a really good concealer. So far so good guys, very creamy and blendable. And for the price, you can't really beat it because I think it was like $2.99, I think. Then the other side. And I would conceal with this, but I forgot to buy it in my shade for some reason. So I'm just gonna conceal with my normal um, face concealer from Sephora collection. I love this one. This one is the Bright Future Concealer. And I just use this on my blemishes. It's like exactly my shade. And this one's also not as, um, not too expensive. So definitely check it out. I totally forgot that this Get Ready With Me was supposed to be chit chat. So um, I need some topics to talk about. I'm not sure what to talk about because I guess, actually, I know what to talk about. Let's talk about senioritis, guys, because I'm actually going through it very badly, and I don't know what's going on, but let's powder while we do that. Um, and today, I'll be trying out the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. Um, this looks like back in the day when I watched makeup videos, people would use, like, the banana powder in this little box. I think it was Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I wanted it so bad, and I was like, I'm not a makeup artist. I can't just, like, buy that, so... When I saw this, it kind of just brought me back to those makeup tutorials when I saw it, and I was like, shit, let's try the the little packaging that looks like Ben Nye banana powder. I love my banana powder from Fenty, but this one was only eight bucks for a lot of products. So um, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna tap it into the cap here. I usually put it under my eyes. Nose, chin, and forehead. And then I kind of dust anything that's under my eyes onto my eyelids as well to prevent any creasing because my eyelids are quite oily. And I'm also going to bronze up with this um, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula that you guys love. And I got the shade um, bronzer. I think there's a lighter formula too, but I just got this one that said bronzer. And it's really cool. I've seen this everywhere. And a lot of people said they like this one because it's not like orange, like hula or something. But I kind of like warm tone bronzers. Let's just see how this works. But guys, um, it is my last semester of senior year. And 
let's just chat about high school for a second because I feel like I always end up talking about high school in these kind in these kind of videos and on my Instagram lives. But a lot of you guys are curious as to what I'm doing and things like that. Um, and it's currently my last semester of high school. We have two more quarters left. I have like a quarter system at my school. So we have two semesters. Each semester is two quarters. And my last day is like May, like mid-May or late May. Um, so I'm actually so, so excited um, that I'm finally like a graduating senior, which is crazy to me because high school did literally go by so fast and I knew it would because it already felt like it was going by fast after freshman year was over. Like when it was over, I was like, shit, like for real, it is going to go by so fast, even though at moments it felt like it was like, I was like over and I wanted to leave so bad. But looking back, I did have pretty good memories. Like even though I bashed school, like being in high school so much. I, you guys know that I love school and I love being studious and stuff. So I quite enjoyed school and um, if I could do it again, I wouldn't, but um, I made a lot of good friends throughout the four years. Um, people that just like, that grew up around me. So it was really cool to watch everyone else grow up too. How are you guys doing? I know a lot of you guys are also graduating seniors or um, juniors or first year in college. That's just like, what I hear from you guys. So leave down below um, what your guys' favorite memories from school are, or if you don't have favorite memories, what are you excited for? What are you gonna, like, what are your goals for your last semester of high school or something, wherever you're at? Um, I love to talk about it. I'm actually in the process of hearing back from all of my schools at the moment. Um, and I have not gotten rejected yet as of uploading this video, but I have, I think three or four more schools to hear from. So yeah, there could be a rejection in there, but I'm manifesting positivity. I haven't been down or negative about most of the schools. I mean, for one of them, I was kind of negative. There's gonna be a whole video about my decisions and everything, so I'm trying not to spoil right now, but yeah, I'll be making one of those compilation for college decisions later in the spring when I hear back from everyone. Um, and then I'll have a separate videos for like um, a Q and A if you guys wanna know how I um, started my college application process and all that stuff, we'll do a whole Q and A cause I'm very excited about all that stuff. And you guys ask me all the time. I just wanna save it all for one video. Stay tuned for that. So I had to fix my camera angle, sorry. I keep changing it. I don't know where I was at with talking, but my foot fell asleep. So I got really um, distracted, but I have some blushes I wanna use. Um, this isn't drugstore, but I thought it was very fitting for a Valentine's Day look. Um, these are my Kaja Beauty cushion nut blushers. And I love Koi. This is the one I used on my Insta stories. And I love this one a lot, but I kinda wanna use one of these. And I'm leaning towards this blushy color. Um, rosy color because these are quite bright. So I'm gonna be using Saucy today and I love these because they have like a heart-shaped cushion in it. So you take the little heart-shaped stamp and then you just press it inside of the cushion and this is what the cushion looks like um, if you've never seen one. Um, and you just press it in there and then you press it onto your cheeks. <gasps> but I to just blend it with my fingertips. And then I just take any like stippling brush and if I wanna blend it out, I just kind of rub it to make sure it's not too bright or anything. Today I'm either using my Wet n Wild or my e.l.f. Um, blushes. These are both recommended by you guys. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for the Wet n Wild because everyone says this is one of the best drugstore um, highlighters out there. I also didn't pick up the Maybelline one, but a lot of you guys love that one. Um, I've actually tried this before in other shades. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I don't think I have this one. I feel like I might, but I just don't know. Um, so I picked it up anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face first. This is the, the Creme Shop I Am Balanced Beauty Water, and you guys can actually get this, I think at CVS, they sell the Creme Shop products, and I love them. Really nice prices, and this this is my favorite spray at the moment. I'm almost out, and I need to buy more. Um, and then I'm just gonna dust this highlight onto my cheeks to see what this looks like. Let's get some on the brush. And I kinda wanna go for a subtle highlight today, just for some dewy skin. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm just gonna dust some right on my nose with a smaller brush. And then on my nose bridge right here. And then I'm gonna intensify it under my eyebrow as well. I forgot to moisturize my lips. Um, I'm just gonna use this clear gloss from Essence actually to just um, put some moisture onto my lips. I just bought this as well. It was super inexpensive and a lot of you guys like this. So I'm just gonna apply this clear gloss just to prep my lips for later because they're feeling a little dry right now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyes. Um, I don't know what I'm going for, so this should be interesting, but I did buy a new eyeshadow palette from um, ColourPop, and this is the Dream Street palette, um, the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration. I got this at Ulta because I thought the colors would be really pretty, but I'm going for a very neutral look today. I kind of just want to do like a nice one color bronzy look on the eyes. I bought the e.l.f. Eye eyelid primer and I used to have that. I bought it again. Don't know where it went, but we're just gonna prime because I need some primer on my eyelids and I'll be using my um, current favorite Fenty one. Um, and excuse my nails. I know they're gross. One like came off, but I didn't feel like going to the nail place today. So yeah, um, excuse my nails as always. They're always so gross. <laughs> But let's just prime the eyelids and get into eyeshadow. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see what I'm doing with my eyes. Um, so for my eyes today, I'm gonna go for a bronzy look. So as always, I'm just gonna apply a nude shade um, all over my eyelid as a base, as always. I don't, I think I'm gonna go for this like rose gold color for the lids, um, but this has like a nice pink flip to it. So I think this might look really cool. Let's just test it out in the center first. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of this all over my eyelid. Super simple. I love just blending a single shadow all over my eyelid with my finger. And then to blend into my crease a little bit, I'm gonna go in um, with a little bit of Elfish, I think right here, brown color. And I'm gonna blend it with the um, all over nude that I did before. Just to deepen the eye makeup look a little more. Done. Um, I wanna go back with that brush I used for my all over lid and just blend my crease a little bit. And then taking my highlight and the small highlight brush I used, I'm just gonna highlight my inner eye corners with the same face um, product I used from Wet n Wild. And then I wanna dust the outer corner crease color onto my lower lash line. And now that we're done with our simple eye makeup, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and apply a little bit of mascara before we do eyeliner. And then of course, I'm using my favorite mascara from Maybelline. This is Total Temptation Mascara um, Waterproof. Um, I think it just works best out of all the mascaras I've tried. Um, I think mascara is definitely a personal preference because I've tried a lot of other mascaras that people recommend and love, but I don't love them, so. Yeah, just try um, trial and error for your favorite mascaras, but I love this one. And then for eyeliner today, I'll be using the Infallible Super Slim Liner from L'Oreal Paris in the brown shade um, because I've been loving my brown eyeliner. But I'm just gonna do a kind of open wing. This is inspired by Hilary. Um, this is like her signature graphic liner and I tried it the other week and I loved it. But I'll link her tutorial down below because it's way better than how I'm doing it right now. So I'm just gonna draw it. Um, as best as I can on camera. I just did the eyeliner, as you can see. Um, very faint, but I think it just adds a little something since I used the brown. Um, but I love this liner look, it's very subtle and I always get compliments when I wear it. So um, huge thank you to Hillary for the inspo. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes now. I'm actually gonna go for these faux mink ones. These are the faux mink lashes 817s. They don't have a name. I just see an 817 on these. So I'm gonna throw these on and I will be right back. Okay, so I applied the lashes. They're very, very natural. As you can see, um, they're just, you know, really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face again with my facial spray from the Creme Shop. For my lips, I think I'm gonna try this new product. I've never seen this before, but I found it at Ulta. This is the e.l.f. Um, plumping Gloss. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna plump my lips, but I love big, juicy lips for these kind of makeup looks. So I'm just gonna layer this on top of what I have on already. This is in the shade Mocha Twist. It is just like a um, neutral pink um, glossy color. So I'm excited to try this out. Okay, 
Okay, it looks a little orange on camera, a little bright, um, but it's kind of just like a nude, um, toned down pink color. Love how high shine it is, and I'm starting to feel the little bits of tangles, but it's not as strong as like lip injection from Too Faced. So, um, if you love the juicy um, lip kind of look, definitely check this out. It's very inexpensive. It was like maybe less than five dollars. video thank you guys so so much for watching this is the makeup look i came up with it's kind of just like a very neutral valentine's day makeup look it also could be an everyday makeup look i love wearing this liner on a daily basis i think it looks great with the brown it makes it look a little more natural um and less graphic so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed and follow me on all of my other social medias to keep up with whatever else i do um and yeah i love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye beauties!